So Meribeth D asks uh, for help on this question where an aluminum wing on a passenger jet is 34 meters long. All right, so let's just draw that for a second. So here's the wing. All right, and this wing is 34 meters long. All right, uh, and the temperature, the current temperature is, I'm gonna call it the initial temperature, is 19 degrees Celsius. All right, and we wanna know at what temperature, okay, so at what temperature will the wing be 0 0.09 meters shorter? So what temperature will, be, will the wing be 0.09 uh, meters shorter? Um, so this is a question about linear thermal expansion. All right. And it happens. All right. So just really quick. It happens because the atoms in this material, all right, as they're heated, they begin to jiggle faster. So the atoms in everything are always kind of moving around a little bit. All right. And the hotter they get, the more they move around, the more they move around the harder they hit each other and the more spread out they are. Okay, so basically these atoms are jiggling around and pushing against each other and then that forces the material to expand as you increase the temperature. All right, and likewise, if you decrease the temperature, if you decrease the temperature, it'll shrink. All right, we just call this expansion, thermal expansion. All right, the relationship you care about for thermal expansion is the following. All right, delta L, so the change in length divided by the initial length is equal to, co to the coefficient of thermal expansion times a change in temperature. All right. So that coefficient of thermal expansion is material dependent. Okay. So uh, this is not something you could have solved for yourself. You have to go look this up. So the coefficient of thermal expansion for aluminum is 23 times 10 to the negative 6. All right. And that's fractional changes per degree Kelvin. All right, and at this point, it's just a matter of solving for that uh, delta, excuse me, solving for that change in temperature, all right, and then taking and then making that change to your 19 degrees, all right. How we're going to do that is basically rearranging for delta T. So delta T is delta L over L naught, and then times 1 over alpha. So our change in length, all right, we're decreasing, so it's negative 0 0.09 meters. Our initial length here is 34 meters. And then 1 over alpha, that's 1 over 23 times 10 to the minus 6. All right, so I went ahead and computed this beforehand. This will give you negative 115 degrees Celsius. It could be Kelvin as well. The uh, Kelvin and Celsius scale have the same uh, changes, the same increments. All right. And uh, okay, so then we just, our initial temperature, right, was 19 degrees Celsius. If we decrease by 115, that's 19 degrees Celsius minus 115 degrees Celsius. All right, and I'm just going to compute that really quick. So 19 minus 115, that's negative 96. So negative 96 degrees Celsius. All right, negative 96 degrees Celsius will be your fin final answer. So uh, to recap, uh, a change in 115 degrees Celsius will cause this wing to decrease by 0 0.09 meters or 9 centimeters, right? And that temperature at which it will be that length is 96 degrees Celsius. All right. I hope this helped.